Hello everyone, Thomas Turner here and today I'm going to show you the easiest way on how to add an image to your website. So this is in my opinion and yeah so this is what I usually do for a client let's say they want an image swap. I would just do this. So go and download Adobe Dreamweaver if you don't already have it. It's a very known established program and it has all the bars and whistles what you need. To start web development okay so what I'm first gonna do I'm going to open up a document of mine so here we go and this basically uh, just opens it as as like this it does look very messed up right now and this is because it's just reading it as a design and that's about it one thing what we've got to do is go to view and split and code slash live now it reads it like a web browser okay so as you can see here it says document title you know this is the properties tab you can find it in windows and then properties or control plus f3 command if you're using mac all right and so what i would do so let's say we want an image so under the testimonial section be very laggy at the minute all right, so under the test your testimonial, so let's say they get in touch. I'm just going to add an image above this button. This is my new website, by the way. Don't be afraid to check it out at thomasturner.space. All right, so yeah, we can go yeah refresh. So it's always refreshing this. And as you can see, I've got animations and stuff. You can check it out live view now. But anyway, um, um, yeah, so what you do is go to insert image and you find an image what you want so let's say we want I don't know so let's say I want to go to downloads and then I go to contact I got contact dot svg file and this works so this is a contact letter box pretty much so as you can see here it's too big it's not looking too good we can add all we can add a title we can add a width so I just want this to be 500 by 500 that does look a bit too big so let's add it uh, maybe 200 by 200 so uh, it's good to keep your ratios clean all right so now what we're going to do we can add a link to it if we wanted so if I wanted to add a link we could click um, when people click on it it can go to the contact page and find it there. so when people click on the link it'll go straight to the contact page you could easily do that or um, yeah so there's different targets if you want a new blank page new um, yeah, so they're just different target types you can edit um, no you can't edit nothing no you can't edit anything so as you can see here we've inserted it and it's ready to go as you can see it's on the left hand side there's two ways I can fix this situation you can just do for center it should center it up why did it close it wow now this is why I do not like green uh, this should center up there we go so uh, it needs it needed to be um, inside the actual column back here inside the past the url so it's just all centered and that's pretty that's the easiest way that you can insert an image using adobe dreamweaver thanks for watching i hope you i hope you have learned something don't forget to check out siteground there's a link in the description they're very useful website hosting you can get a year's worth of host from just 40 pounds a year and you can get two years i believe for just under 80 pound so check them out um i recommend them to every single client of mine um, no matter how big or how small they are anyways thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the future goodbye have a great week peace